As soon as we arrived in Cairo, we were picked up by a driver and van and headed southwest on a two-lane blacktop to Egypt's famous White Desert, a six-hour drive through the vast expanse of the Western Desert. It's the eastern extension of the Great Sahara Desert. It covers over two-thirds of Egypt and is virtually uninhabited except for five fertile oases. We were heading toward the oasis of Farafra and a camel journey into a desert landscape like no other on our planet. Dad, being more familiar with horsepower than camel power, cautiously tried to make a friend. After watching Rick, I thought mounting the hump would be easy. there are two saddle horns. Most visitors take four-wheel drive safaris and the beautiful sands of this special area were being marred by off-road enthusiasm. The Egyptian government recently ordered vehicles to use special lanes marked by white rocks. Even though we had three camels, our Bedouin guide never rode, but for three days kept a rapid, steady pace. This is the quietest place on earth, and no animal life exists here.
First you take the pita nice and hot off the fire. Open her up. Take a spoon that's been licked by your dad. Lick clean. And put the cheese on the inside. You just put the cheese like that. Nice, just a little bit. Just Do you a... like to drink tea? On this cafe? Yes. Tea? Tea, thank you. A little bit more okay. cheese in there. Okay, now what about the tomatoes? Well, it's the last tomato I'll, t I'll take the liberty of eating in here. You just slide that in like this. There. Just like that, it drops Okay, in. and you eat it. Pretty much, the rest is just natural here. It is good. We grow fonder of our camels by the day and decide to name them. This type of rustic saddle has been used by desert nomads for thousands of years. It's made of two forks lashed together and protects the camel's sensitive fatty hump. Thick woolen blankets placed over the rough wood provide some comfort, but seem to get thinner by the hour. These unusual formations are the reason the White Desert is now a national park. This was once a vast sea, and these are deposits of chalk carved by millions of years of wind erosion and abrasion. By noon, the wind picked up and helped reduce the heat of the day. In one more month, 
the temperature will soar over 100 degrees. In these vast barren tracts, the air is so dry that evaporation rates are the highest in the world, at least twice those of California's deserts. The Bedouins say that it is not only the ground, but also the sky that is thirsty. Discovering that it's good therapy to walk occasionally, we entered a plain that is covered with mounds of tough scrub. Apparently a delicious garden salad fit for a camel. They had not had a drink, but consumed all our scraps of food. Banana peels, orange peels, plastic bags, and yogurt cartons. Camels are walking garbage disposals. Our guide harvested enough dead wood from these mounds to cook two meals. Desert. 